The first morning after the initial strikes, I think we all were very, very pleased the way things turned out. And this is my counterpart's headquarters in uh, Baghdad. <laughs> this is the headquarters of the Air Force. The one thing, though, that tempered our optimism was that we had reviewed the military might of Iraq. And we understood, unlike most people, the magnitude that he had assembled in terms of military power that we were going to have to take apart. And that was going to take a long, long time. Now, coalition bombers began to methodically take apart Iraq's military infrastructure. To reduce the odds of coalition aircraft shooting each other down, Air planners divided the theater of war into zones of attack, called kill boxes. A grid was superimposed over the featureless terrain of Iraq and Kuwait. Each grid square measured 30 miles by 30 miles. The squares were then subdivided into four 15 by 15 mile strike zones. Day after day, aircraft soared into these kill boxes from bases on land and at sea. 